Hello people, I am Javi Kuei. Joining me is Achar Kirk. Hi. We are going to look at Sachin A Billion Dreams, the official trailer with Sachin Tendulkar. Wait, he's acting in it? I was only 10 years old when India won the World Cup in 1983. That's where I started my journey. One day, I also had to get the World Cup in my hand. What did you say to your brother? क्रिकेट पहले था हम सब बाद में और ये हम सब ने एक्सेप्ट कर लिया था जब भी टीम अच्छा नहीं खेलती थी तो वो इतना परेशान होता था कि रात को सो भी नहीं पाता था इस बात के काफी सबूत हैं कि मैच फिक्स हुई थी ये इंडियन क्रिकेट का सबसे बुरा वक्त था हर खिलाड़ी को निराशा के बाद अपने पैरों पे खड़े होक I would tell people, you know, when Sachin comes into bat, मुझे बता देना। क्रिकेट खेलना मेरे लिए मंदिर जाने की तरह था। Wow. Yeah. Uh, for me, the first thing that popped in my head is, I know this is gonna seem random, but Jackie Chan popped into my mind all of a sudden because he did, it's like Jackie Chan My Life or some kind of DVD where he was very open and candid and talked about how he wasn't the best husband. And I'm not saying that Sachin's saying that here, but he's basically like passion comes first, like, and his family comes in a very far second. His family just learned to accept that. His passion was the first and foremost thing that he had to tend to all the time. You see it here as well. That's very common in people who are highly driven and who are very successful. Because they have that drive, it's like an obsession that they have to do what their passion is right. and people close to them kind of fall to the wayside. That actually got me most intrigued about this is seeing that kind of inner behind the curtain of this guy's life. Everyone sees things from the outside, yeah. but what's what's going on behind the curtain? Because there's a certain amount of pressure that goes with that. Yeah. You're always the person, the first person to like criticize yourself for things that maybe other people don't, don't even see. Like everyone else is like, you're awesome. You're like, no, but I fucked up here. And right. I like, and being able to see what that kind of just what's going on in his head, you know, when all these events are transpiring, it's crazy. And it, it's inspiring to see how he comes out of that and continues to be the best, essentially. Even just the a billion dreams thing, it really hits you when you think about just the vastness of the population of India. And when it says a billion people's dreams are on his shoulders. Right, like, that's a lot of pressure. How much pressure? Like even a yeah. even hundred people's dreams, I'm already feeling nervous. A billion people, how does he even handle that? And, and watching the footage of people being angry and rioting, feeling that responsibility on some level must have been just so intense. Yeah, people get really passionate about their sports yeah. in a way that I don't know how to feel about it sometimes. Like I heard about this Brazilian soccer player who screwed up. I don't know exactly how he screwed up, but he basically, whatever he did, caused the team to lose like the World Cup or something oh. like that. And so when he got back home, he got shot. What? He got killed, yeah, because because he because he was responsible for the team's loss, and so some random fan <sighs> killed him out of anger. When I hear those stories, I because I'm not like the biggest sports person, but when I hear those stories, I realize just how crazy obsessed and passionate people can be, and to think that you're this one dude with a billion people who have that level of passion for you, where like you you, you do matters to a billion <laughs> people. 
I can only imagine like, oh my God, that's... I was getting goosebumps just listening and watching people kind of, you know, do the wave thing right. and, and cheer for for Sachin. And, and especially when you're playing on an international level, when it's not just a league within your country or within your region, right. but it's international. That, that's such a big deal because it's not just, oh, we're winning it for the team. Yeah, we're winning it for the team, but it's for India as well. Right. You know, it's for your country. So it's just next level. Again, for me, the what's interesting to me most about this is just seeing the inner, you know, workings of Sachin and seeing what goes on when he's not playing the game, okay. his life and where his mind's at, what he deals with on the daily. I'm hoping that this explores that a little bit more, you know, to just find out who the real person is. Well, I'm also interested because the, the people involved in making the film seem to be very celebrated and the filmmaker and, and A.R. Rahman doing the music. Right. It should be a really good watch. Let us know in the comments what you guys think of this. I'm very much looking forward to this. I'm definitely going to watch it when it comes out over here in the next five weeks. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Check out other reactions, reviews, short films, and video game related videos. I'm Jabby Kawai. This is... Peace out.